Hello everyone, my name is Newton, welcome to the Custard Experience, and today we are starting a brand new series in Bouldermint. If you're not familiar, please feel free to check out my first look video for an introduction. But in short, Bouldermint is a factory building automation crafting game where you mine resources, craft items and convey them all into a research lab to unlock more recipes to ultimately send resources back to a dying earth. Yes, it's a factory building game with a little bit of a story. Let's start a new game. And we pick a world seed, click it a bunch of times. There we go, that's good. So I'll just leave everything else on the default. And here we go. First things first, let me switch off the tutorial because I really don't need to see that. All right, so the first few resources we will be after would be wood and copper and iron and then shortly after that stone and coal. So, oh wow, all the copper is in the middle. Hmm. Um, that's interesting. Okay, well, I guess this is as good a spot as any to start, so what I'll do is I'll just start right here. Need to get some wood logs into the research lab. I'll just stick it over here. And then I'll just convey some wood in there. I'll just go left first, so that'll be those. Uh, those four. Both go left. So I've played this game a little bit. Uh, not a lot. I've, I'm not too familiar with uh, games like Factorio either. I've played Factorio a little bit back before it was a version one. I think they had a. Oops. Um, I think they had a free something other at the time um, and and I enjoyed Factorio but I never really got into it 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 became too much about ratios and 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 that kind of thing and, and that's that kind of depth just didn't appeal to me I quite like this slightly light not too in detail uh, too too detailed too in-depth uh, kind of kind of automation game for instance, these extractors, they do 7.5 per minute, so I know that belt over there is feeding at 30 uh, logs, I guess, per, per minute. And that becomes important. And, and look, that's about as deep as things go. Uh, deep as, things go. Um, as you uh, get better extractors, that increases. Uh, as soon as I need to get a spreadsheet up on my second monitor to um, calculate things uh, for a game like this, that's the end of the game for me. So far, I've not needed to do that with this game, so let's keep on hoping. Uh, right, so I managed to get 10 wood logs into the research lab, which unlocked the wood planks for me, which... Wow, that's loud. Um, which unlocks the workshop for me so I can create wood planks with with the workshop and I need to make 10 wood planks to unlock the wood frame so a workshop doesn't say uh, let me just put it over there that can take 15 per minute wood log in so every two I can I can do that so let me turn that one there turn that one there uh, delete that one delete that one delete that one and then I can move uh, move that there copy that there and then I can and I'm making wood planks. Beautiful. 
In the meantime, seeing as these uh, belts are rather slow, what I'll do is I'll just give myself some more wood planks. I know I'm going to need some more. In actual fact, I'm going to need some more uh, wood logs at some point in time as well. So I'll... Uh, that is four. That's a fifth one. Uh, that's sixteen. So, extract that guy. I'm gonna just make it go up and join that. So you can just trickle feed some logs for me, and this guy can go. I'll just do that. That will go in there. Copy that. That's my second one. And this can go. Hmm. I guess like that. Like that. Copy that. Like that. And off we go. Now we have four plank makers. And that did unlock the wood frame. I can make wood frames in a workshop again. Same thing, I can copy the workshop there. It can take 30 wood planks in. So just doing the math quickly. Uh, that's seven five seven five this is 15 that's 15 so one uh, wood frame per two planks so i can do that uh, let's just go straight up there and then I'm going to delete that. So, and then I will do we'll copy you and go there. And I will take you up and left. And I'll just bolt some extractors there as well. You can go left, you can go. So that will give me planks and no, go left please, thank you. That can be a second planks and then I can do, copy that, there we go. So I'm making three wooden frames. Mm, I need four more, then I can make four, uh, what are those things called, the frames, wooden frames. So there's that, uh, I can make this go that way, make that go that way, and I should be able to copy that. And then just do that. And that's a fourth wooden frame that I'm making. All right, smelting has unlocked. Fantastic. So the decorative trees will unlock as I give it wood logs. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, build there. So that will eventually just unlock the, the wooden trees. As soon as I start making wood logs out of there. And these two I might as well just build as well. Because that's going to give me a little bit of money. Alright, if I have a wood log I get one, one gold. Okay, so that's this whole little forest taken out there. Or used up. Next up is, this is going to unlock in a little bit, uh, it will give me better extractors, that complicates the math, but whatever. Uh, so I need to do copper 
ingots and iron ingots and this will start unlocking as well so where's my closest one copper and oh there we go so i'm gonna make both of these go down and then feed left so i think let's start with four again hold face down please that one and uh, next right, you know what? I'm gonna do that one. There we go. So that way, that way, that way, and that way. And I can build a workshop, and I don't know what. The, not a workshop. Furnace. Where's the furnace? Is unlocked. There we go. Furnace. Copper. I can take 13, so I need four. Hmm. I need four copper ore per one. Uh, one furnace to make ingots. That means if I do those three bold and that one bold. Oh, that's annoying. Doesn't quite work out. Uh, that one then. I can do that, then I can copy that, paste it there. And then what I'll do is I will put a conveyor belt down the middle here. Ooh, I don't have enough money. Uh, let's do that. And... Not enough money for that. Let's wait. 124. Hey, it's almost there. My uh, wooden frames will bump us up to that amount very quickly. Ooh. There we go. I didn't quite realize that I had that. Okay, well... There go to copper ingot makers. And now I just need to do the exact same thing on this side with the iron. So uh, I can do that. Do And then I can copy that. Oh no, I can't paste the view. There we go, I can. And I wanted to change this to be iron. And I can move it, turn it a bit. Hada. Making iron and gets. Oh, what unlocked. Oh, there we go, the better extractors. Why are those backing up? This that's seven point five this it did say it takes thirty copper input per minute. That's exactly what I'm giving it. But it's backing up. Uh, it might just be backing up because I took a while to get this and go. This one isn't backing up, it's all good. Okay, so how's our copper wire going? Copper wire is unlocking very soon. I've almost sent a hundred wood logs and my next extractor upgrade needs metal frames which we will unlock over here. And if you want to see the whole tech tree, there it is. And all of these end up being like belt speed upgrades. All of these end up uh, being uh, decorations. And then these are workshop upgrades. And then these are furnace upgrades. And we've got machine shop upgrades. And these are the belt upgrades. Those are extractor upgrades. They are more storage upgrades over there. So this is kind of like this kind of the theme. The robotic arm uh, upgrade over there. Uh, oh, the industrial factory is there. Uh, what are these? Concrete. And that's forges. And then these end up opening up for a whole bunch of stuff. So there's 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 lots to up to unlock. Okay, we've unlocked copper wire. Now, copper wire is needed for 
the electron magnet. The copper wire needs three copper ingots. And and this is where things get slightly annoying. Not well, not annoying. That's not the right word. It it things get slow. That's that's the right word. Because I need significantly more copper to actually get a good feed of uh, of copper wire going. So they. Now I can, uh, oh, something else unlocked. Uh, the palm tree is okay. Decorations, um, I need, is it the workshop? Yes, yeah, the workshop. I can build the workshop, just there, well not right there, just about that. That can make copper wire. So it needs three copper ingots in. So if I do that, That green bar moves across however long it takes. Four seconds. I think it's there, four seconds. And it takes in 45 copper ingots per minute. These provide. Oh. That's interesting. The output is 30 per minute. So I need two. I need a splitter. Hmm. So the splitters unlock soon. I think the splitters end up unlocking with this one. Maybe I should do iron gears first. Because I think iron gears also unlocked with this. Uh, when I'd unlocked, yes. I did un okay, May let me make uh, some iron gears. Uh, iron gears. So it is rambling a little bit. Advanced belts uh, gives me a belt splitter um, and underground belts. So I just need to make 30 gears for that, and the belt splitter will allow me to avoid this. So what I'll do, just for money's sake, I'll do that. So this outputs 30 per minute, so this belt, by the time it gets into the workshop, this workshop it's 60 per minute. I think. Anyway, this will just give me some extra money. So, gears. Iron gears. Uh, what well, I need find gears. Iron gears just to ingots. And what did it say? In a workshop? In a workshop. Yep. Alright, so let's just see what the workshop says. 30 iron ingots per minute. And this output, so I can just do that. And now I'm making iron gears. Hopefully. There we go. So that green bar fills up as soon as the um, the iron ingot storage in the workshop is full, which means this is the exact perfect ratio. Uh, four to one to one. I just need to do that more. So there's an easy one to do. Uh, Build please, do that, do that, and then I can just copy and paste that, and think that, done. I am making iron gears, what unlocked, oh there we go, okay these unlocked. So the magnets unlocked, I can make electromagnets, and that needs, okay here we go, this is why I'm saying it's slow, I need six copper wires and two iron ingots. Which means I need two setups like this, um, and then that requires eight times two uh, extractors just to do one electromagnet at a time. That's this whole, almost this whole uh, iron area, uh, copper area. It's it's yikes. So if I take this belt and I split it. Between the that one and that one. Ah, okay. That, then I can get the correct ratio. Yeah, 45 per minute. Okay, okay, okay. So, where's this going? This is almost done. Mm, in the meantime, let me see if I can do one more. Uh, down like 
that. Down like that. Down and down. And then copy, paste, and there we go. Okay, more iron gears. Excellent. The splitter and the underground belt unlocked and extract what unlocked there. So there's a speed upgrade, iron gears, awesome, 10% speed. And underground belt upgrade, I need nano wire and concrete. That's way down over here. Or this way. So don't have to worry about that yet. I can do metal frames now. And the coal power, not gonna worry about the coal power right now. That just speeds things up and then that messes with math. Alright, uh, so in this one I can do the furnace upgrade. Uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about that, but I will be making an electromagnet, so this will just automatically upgrade uh, or research as time goes by. So my next thing to do is electromagnets. Yep, electromagnets, so that I can do unlock the middle frames. Okay, electromagnets. Uh, now that I've got a belt split, let me do that. Okay. So now that means that I'm getting... This this ratio should be correct now. I should get three in by the time that green bar is full. That's as fast as the top one went. <laughs> Why? I'm not asking questions. But now I need another one like this. So I need... To get the ratios right, I need... Uh, I need to do that uh, what unlocked. The workshop upgrade. I can do faster workshops. I don't need to do faster workshops. I can do well, I, can, I would love faster furnaces, but yeah, okay, whatever. Um What do I want to do? Electromagnets. Electromagnets you make in a machine shop. So let's build a machine shop. I'm gonna build it over there. But the reason I want to build it over there is because I need copper wire, which I'm gonna feed in from there. And I need two iron ingots, which one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. I can kind of make it work. And there we go. And I keep these separate because it, it just makes it easier to deal with uh, once the Extractors uh, get upgraded. I've got belt speed upgrades. Hurrah! Which means this thing should be. No, this thing should fill up quicker. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, doesn't matter. Okay, I can copy that. Just twice and then just. This one will just be a little bit slower. Fine. So that will give me. Uh, the copper ingots that I need for that. No, oh, not copper. Don't need gears. I need iron ingots, that's what it is. So these produce, so this, this belt is now 60, 60 a minute, and this once. Oh. Okay, I don't need that many. <laughs> stop, stop. Uh, hmm. I guess what I can do, make you go that way. So this will produce slightly slower. That's fine, and then I can do. Uh, copy you, and then. Get an automatic, an automatic underground belt. Cool. There we go. And then what I can do here is do that. Ta -da. I suspect though that this is not going to be fast enough. Just have a look and see how fast it is. Yeah, actually, that that works. Oh, that is. Definitely fast enough. That's excellent. Okay. Well, there we go. We're making electromagnets. Uh, 
that should start unlocking this. And iron plating, which means I need more iron ingots. But I'm not using all the iron extractors here. I'm not using all of the copper ones here yet. So what I can do... That's six. Do I need... How many do I need? Yeah, uh, 30. I guess I can do one more. I can do that. Mm. I'm just going to go do this go straight there. For now. Okay. This is clearly not fast enough. So I'm going to have to do a splitter. I'm going to cop... Uh, Copy you, and then you can just output that way. I suspect I've just broken it. Though. This is not going to be. This is not going to fill up fast enough. I think. And again, yeah, just not. This one is. I wonder if I can. I'll just do that. And then <laughs> I'll do another splitter over there. Ugh. I don't know, maybe that works. This one gets split into three. This one gets an added one. Uh, brain hurting. Hopefully that, I mean, I just added a little bit extra into this this belt over here. So hopefully this thing speeds up a little bit and I can get more electromagnets out. And we are slowly filling up the iron gears for this workshop upgrade. And we're slowly filling up this the electromagnets for this one for the furnace upgrade. And this one as well for the iron plating and metal unlocks. And this one also, a thousand iron gears, eventually we'll get to another belt upgrade, belt speed upgrade. Yeah, this one is waiting a little bit. If I... Huh. What I could do, I can just add a slow trickle of iron ingots from those two. I have things moving around on belts. I'm happy. <laughs> There we go. So we're still sending in a bunch of wooden items from here up into the research lab. We are sending lots of iron gears and uh, what are these? Electromagnets in. Uh, I suspect I'm going to need to do that. That should thing make things a little bit better. That one is not waiting, that one is not waiting, that one is not waiting. I think... I think I'm happy with this. <laughs> At some point in time I'm going to need... Uh, need to get some more... Uh, what are these? Copper wire. For other things. But for now, you know what? This is working and uh, I think it's is just about the right. Um, the right ratio there, so that's fine. It's not waiting too long. Oh, that's actually the perfect perfect uh, speed. This one is taking a... Oh, this, this might actually be exactly perfect. I don't want to touch this. <laughs> and my money is going up. That's great. Um, I, need to, I need to go and get uh, metal frames going. Metal frames you get in a machine shop with wooden frames and iron plating. Iron plating you get from four iron ingots. So now, this is where I start looking elsewhere for iron because I don't want to mess with the setup right here. I guess I can grab the iron gears. I don't use the iron gears for anything right now. So this iron gear and this iron gear I can just remove, and that becomes my um, my supply of. Uh, 
the iron ingots I know that's four more I will move this machine shop to um, just there and then I will put a conveyor belt in that will feed in from this side all the way to there and then this guy I will make you go under and it's round about there and there there cool that sends my wood frames in I will I'll put that and then this guy so iron plating times two I need four ingots at 40 per minute hmm. so maybe what I can do is I can take you do that do that so that that outputs 30 per minute that outputs max 30 per minute oh 60 whatever so that's more uh, if I split it into two, then it's half. Oh, okay, whatever. Let's see how this goes. Uh, over there, to there, to there. Okay. Go on, little metal plates, you can do it. Make me a machine shop. No, make me a metal frame. And if this falls up, then that's good. That means that the steady s supply of to, oh, I wonder, this produces iron plating 20 per minute, but it outputs 2. I wonder if it's already taking into account the fact that there's 2 there. Okay, well, it seems to be supplying fast enough. I suspect uh, because the wooden frames are a bit faster, I can... add a second wooden frame onto this belt and split this up into three maybe yeah uh, no yes yes I can if I add a second wooden belt and then split it up into three I can add three of these all right well maybe that's that's for next time there goes my I suspect second uh, metal frame and but there we go, metal frames unlock, oh, fifth, metal frames unlock storage. Um, okay, well, that's not the prettiest of starting bases, but uh, it is a starting base. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this kind of content, and uh, I will do a couple of more episodes of this uh of the series and we will see where it goes my name is newt thank you very much for discovering and uh, watching the custard experience i will see you in a next episode see ya